Good morning, yeah, okay, guys. That's, that's Captain that's Dylan that's Hubbard that. here at Hubbard's Marina. And Captain Brian and the boys just got back in from our 39-hour long-range overnight trip. They've got a nice pile of fish, some pelagics, some African pompano, some big mangroves, big vermilion, couple yellowtail, looks like a big pile of red grouper, a couple scamps. Looks like you guys did well, huh, Wilbo? Yeah, we did well. Uh, first couple spots were picky at night, and then we smoked the fish for several hours. Really? That smoked the snappers for most of the night, and picked at the groupers, but most of these red groupers were in the daytime. We switched up strategies and uh, hit some red groupers in the daytime. Nice, man. So you were catching most of the red groupers during the day. The snapper bite at night was going well, though? Yeah, and the snappers this time of year, it, it, it's just the snapper time. We're catching them on every spot right now. Oh, nice. And uh, the red groupers are, are mixed in there. And we have a lot more red groupers than you can see in here. We probably got 30 or 40 red groupers in there. What was the hot bait for the red grouper? Let me think about this. <laughs> I'm going to just say thread fin on the red grouper. Thread fin on the red grouper, the snapper, mostly cut thread fin? Yeah, mostly threads on the snapper. Uh, we only had a few guys with live bait, and I don't know that they produced a whole lot on the live bait this trip. I got gotcha. you. So uh, a lot of dead bait action. Dead bait action. We were having the problem with the red tide, so we didn't have a ton of live bait available for this trip, but it doesn't seem like it made too much of a difference. No, huh? it didn't make much of a difference. These snappers were chewing. We had several guys with their limit. Oh, nice. And, uh, probably over 300 mangroves in that pile right there. So One of our best of the year. Incredible mangrove snapper bite, you'd say. And uh, how about these tuna? Uh, right, how'd no, you we, get the tuna? There's only one on top, but we had three tunas, and this... Two, two of the tunas and this pompano were caught on jigs. On vertical vertical jigs. jigs. Yep. You know what kind of jigs or uh, The tuna size? was one of those glow striped ones. So the glow vertical jigs at night? Night glow striped one with maybe red and glow stripes. Nice. And then the African pompanos, those were during the day when we were fishing deeper for the jacks, I assume? Yeah, we hit a jack wreck and the jacks weren't there, but the uh, there were some, a school of pompanos on that thing. Nice. How about the scamp? I see a couple scamp and they were were they verticals or uh, squid or something? I, I think Whew, that was not a person. No, no people. <laughs> I want to say we did get one of those on the jig. Yeah. They like those vertical jigs. And I it did seems see like. uh, uh, Libby caught a, a nice mangrove on a jig last at night as well. Cool. She was trying to get a tuna after they uh, the guy next to her caught two tunas. She got the jig out and caught a mangrove. Nice. And then uh, the pelagics, as far as like the kingfish goes, uh, were you getting them on the troll, or is the troll pretty slow? No, the king. The troll was pretty slow. We didn't have our normal trolling guys this trip. Yeah. And uh, the kingfish were we would stop and hook one immediately right when we stopped. Oh, okay. We did that a couple times. Gotcha. And, uh, All right. So overall, good trip. Any tips or anything you notice for uh i would say this time of year guys and i mean it could change at any time with the lack of the uh of the gag bite you can fish light tackle out there right now light tackle and september 21st mangroves. is your next overnight or you get a little bit of a break well i guess not you're going to dry dock yeah i'll be working <laughs> all right well i appreciate it man thank you yes sir i appreciate those stars Anne marie thank you very much Nice pile of fish here from this 39-hour fishing trip. Don't forget as well, guys, we got our live stream show coming up uh, tonight at 8.30 p.m. Hopefully you can join us for that live stream show. We'd love to have you and uh, love to have you join us, too. So hopefully you join. Will's still mic'd up, so uh, we're going to have to get his mic. Hey, Will. Can, yeah, you unplugged it for me. Can you un, can you turn off that box for me? Oh, that'll work. I can't hear you. What you said? I got it. Yeah, we got new new technology, so it's all well and good. But then, if I don't take his mic from him, you guys are gonna hear it back there. You won't be able to hear me. <laughs> so we're figuring it out. We got new toys to play with, and we'll get it dialed in over time. But. Hopefully that helped you to hear Will a little bit better instead of trying to hear over uh, the background noise that tends to occur in the back of the boat on these 39 hour returns. No sunrise yet, but we uh, have a beautiful sunrise ahead. Beautiful weather looks like a great opportunity to go out there and go fishing this week and uh, hopefully catch 
plenty of those red grouper. The red grouper bite's been good overall near shore. Offshore, we're doing much better on the red grouper. As you can see from the pile, there's a nice, nice uh, few handful of red grouper. Uh, we've been seeing some of those scamp. We've been seeing lots of mangroves. Near shore, we're catching a few of them. Inshore, there's a ton of them around. Offshore, as you can see, as Will said, we've been seeing a lot. So hopefully you can join us for tonight's live stream show. We're gonna give you plenty of tips and tricks on how to catch more of those great eating mangrove snapper, answer your questions live, and give away free fishing trips. So hopefully you can join us tonight for the show at 8.30 p.m. on our Facebook and Instagram channel, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram channels. Also, Hubbard's Marina now has TikTok, Snapchat, Pinterest, and Twitter, along with Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. So if you have Twitter, Snapchat, uh, Pinterest, some of those other social media accounts, make sure you look up Hubbard's Marina and give us a follow. Hopefully we'll see you tonight for the show. Hopefully we'll see you this week. The fishing is going well. Loads are lighter right now. This 39 hour trip was a little bit busier than they have been, but that's just because this is our last 39 hour uh, for two weeks, two and a half weeks, because that friendly fisherman is going into dry dock. And uh, as the friendly goes into dry dock, the Florida will be running most of the day trips. So we won't have any 39 hours until the 21st when we do a uh, Tuesday uh, special full moon 39 hour trip. And then we'll have another 39 hour trip come in October, I think uh, the 19th. So keep that in mind, we've got some uh, uh, breaks here on our 39 hour trip. So that 12 hour day trip is a great option. Uh, the 12 hour extreme on the flying hub too. Yesterday, the Skyway Fishing Club went out on that boat and they did real well. So uh, the fishing is good on the flying hub too on the 12 hour extreme makes a nice little break uh, for you. And then also during dry dock, since the friendly's out of service, the Florida will be running our 12 hour night snapper trip. So we got our 12 hour night snapper as an option. The last 12 hour night snapper did well. Uh, Captain Garrett ran that trip and they caught a bunch of lane snapper, vermilion snapper. They caught a handful of mangroves, probably around 30, 35 mangroves. There just wasn't a lot of size to them. Captain Garrett was a little frustrated, but they had over a hundred lanes and a bunch of vermilions and porgies for only around 30 anglers, which is not anything to be frustrated about. Definitely a, a good overall catch, just was hoping for a better grade of mangroves. But hopefully this next one, we'll find them. Hopefully you'll be able to join us. We got plenty of five hour half days daily, 10 hour all days, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 12 hour extreme trips. We got those 12 hour night snappers, Friday nights from 7 p.m. until 7 a.m. Saturday. Hopefully you could come out and see us inside John's Pass. Don't forget if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too darn busy. And as I mentioned, we are having a little problem again with that red tide, unfortunately. Uh, so the red tide is making it a little bit more difficult to get some of that live bait. So if you're coming out on some of our long range trips, we are not catching live bait through Monday. And Monday we're gonna reevaluate with our bait guy and see what we can do and uh, maybe get that service reestablished. But right now, Whatever we catch and bring in is dying before we can get it offshore. So the red tide has kind of come back a little bit, at least in John's Pass. Overall in the area, still much improved from where we were, but it is kind of trying to make a comeback inside John's Pass, unfortunately. So keep that in mind, guys. Deadbait works well, and uh, hopefully we'll see you out in the water.